soaked happy, I know. Has it sunk into you that, like, you're going to be the last American Idol? Like, forever, you're the last one. Uh, this may sound strange, but it has. You know, um, I, I am fully aware of the fact that all that happened tonight was that it got me to the bottom of the next level. And um, that's all I really wanted was, I just wanted a fighting chance, you know. This, this doesn't put me at the top of radio. It doesn't put me on the, on, on the top 100. It just gets me to the bottom of the next level, up. And I'm good with that. It's so kidding, yeah. When I auditioned in July, I did not expect to win. I think that anybody says, you know, I expected to win, but not telling the truth. But I prepared to win. From the minute that I auditioned, I prepared to win. And so much decompression got to leave my body in that moment. That's why I fell on the ground. It was, I finally got to take a breath. I haven't taken a breath in almost a year. I, I, I want to sing. I, the money that I use to pay for my, for my cell phone bill, for any bill, you know, fill in the blank. I want it to come from music. You know, it, it, it's been tip money and gig money. You know, uh, crinkled up one dollar bills for the for the last several several years, and uh, I was good with that. You know, but now hopefully I get some checks that say music on them. You know, I I wouldn't say that I gave up during Hollywood week when I had mono, but I had nothing left to give. Um, I was so exasperated to just the nth degree. Uh, matter of fact, that the bathroom that's at the end of this at the end of this level, I lived in that bathroom for about four or five days. Uh, I was kind of quarantined, and it was in there that I decided, all right, man, you can either you can either quit and go pack up your stuff because they told me they said, man, you can quit. You look terrible, or you, or you can push through it if you can. And I did, and here we are doing press, <laughs> you know. And I can finally tell y'all, I wondered, and I was, I had a lot of sleepless nights wondering if I was doing the right thing, because if I had gotten cut at any point, I would have felt terribly because my parents didn't get to be a part of it. But, you know, Ryan Seacrest told me just a minute ago, he said, I respect that you didn't bring your parents out here, he said, because it allowed you to have the most laser focus I may have ever seen in a human being in all my years. And that was it, you know, and I love them to death. I, I talk to them every night on the phone, even though they're not out here, but I didn't have to worry about if they were safe or if they had their seat or, you know, where they are in Los Angeles, you know, because they, they're, they're country like me. They'll get mugged and don't even know what's happening, you know. <laughs> but I told them that just last night. I said, guys, get off of Hollywood and Vine after 10 o'clock. <laughs> and they, they said, oh, okay. They didn't know what that even meant. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't bring them out here until this point, and I feel like they appreciated it.